morning everybody and welcome to the RTR day two. <laughs> Tucker kind of came to say good morning. Aww. <laughs> Give me Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. Good morning. Excuse me? Good morning, Jimmy. How are you this morning? <laughs> Great. Morning. How's the world treating right you? Great. You? Same. Jimmy, how are you? <laughs> Great. How are you? Good. Billy wants to say good morning too. Oh, hi, Billy. How are you? Lick that lens. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't lick the lens. <laughs> Good morning, James. How are you? <laughs> Good morning, Carolyn. <laughs> okay. Good morning. What are you eating, Colleen? This is apple oatmeal with walnuts and cinnamon. Oh, that smells, smells. It sounds good. I'm sure it smells good, but my nose is stuffed up. <laughs> good morning, Mick. Good morning. Have a beautiful day in paradise. Yeah. Good morning. Cheers. Thank I'm you. on my way to the meeting. Yeah. So I'm headed to the meeting this morning and no one's with me. No one wanted to go. And Fiona left before me, so let's go see what's going on over there. I believe it's about solar. I already have solar, but I could use a little more solar. Yeah. And plus I need the exercise. This is quite a walk over to the main camp. It's like a mountain climb. So I know last year there weren't porta potties, but this year there is. Just so everybody knows, if you need a porta potty, they got them. And there's uh, quite a few of them. They're scattered about. This is the area closer to the main camp, and it's really filling in here. A lot of people. Our side is uh, not quite this full. So it's definitely not a straight line between here and there. <laughs> but the nice thing about this area is that there's these uh, ravine areas, or wash areas, that uh, aren't good for camping in. Well, not in a vehicle, as far as getting back here in a vehicle. But, uh, so there's open spaces between the different areas. So you don't feel quite as cramped in. But it makes for a challenging walk to base camp. <laughs> I think I overshot and walked past the main camp. And now I have a bigger hike. That's okay. I need the exercise, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jerry, and I have a YouTube channel called JC Travel Stories. Some of it is about my retirement home project in Mexico, and when we're in the States, it's about traveling in my 40-foot diesel pusher. Nice. So, come and check me out. And where do you live in Mexico? Or where's your home in Mexico? It's on Lake Chapala, up in the mountains in the central uh, part of the country, south of Guadalajara on Lake Chapala. Some of the best weather in Mexico, right? You know, it's paradise. Yeah. It's um, a lot of people live there that are retired. It's a very large retirement community. And a lot of Europeans too, and people who can live anywhere in the world choose to live there. Cool. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. Schoolies are all coming in. So today, it's been a little overwhelming, I'd say. It's Friday, and uh, a lot of people are coming in, uh, maybe for just the weekend, or maybe just to take a peek, but there's so many people, and um, 
I'm being stopped a lot, <laughs> which is nice. It's great to be recognized. Um, I'm a little uncomfortable with it, but people are nice about it. Um, but it just sort of added to my feeling of being slightly overwhelmed. And uh, you can't sit in, even in our little camp, our little camp circle, can't sit there for more than a couple minutes without more people coming just to say hi, but then they stay, and then they have dogs, and their dogs are barking, and then there's another person that comes with a dog, and then their dog is barking the other dog, and then more people, and more people. <laughs> it's a lot. And I've been excusing myself. Um, I'm not allowing myself to get completely overwhelmed. I've been doing a little hiding. I went for a couple of walks, just me, and, um, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm staying conscious of it and I'm not pushing myself too far, but it's a lot. And I feel like tomorrow, which is Saturday, will probably be even more so. So I didn't do so much filming today because I'm feeling overwhelmed, <laughs> but I'll be fine. This video is going to be a little boring probably and um, a little uh, uneventful, a little short. I apologize, but uh, I think most of you understand and I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so there are some ladies here who are making buttons for people for free. And um, you just go over, you don't get to pick the color or anything, and you don't get to make the button. I kind of wish I got to make it. But uh, they'll make you a button. There's so many people here, and you end up running into the people over and over and talking to them. I can't remember a hundred new names for people. It's just not something I'm able to do. Um, so it's nice to have a button to look at, and um, uh, then you can... Uh, <laughs> Remember their name. Not really, but if you're sly about it and, you know, glance down at it while you're talking, then, yeah, I remember your name. <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys, all of you who made suggestions for ways I could deal with my anxiety levels and being in groups, and um, I really appreciate it. One thing that I do or have been doing for many years because I worked in a job where I had non-stop stimulation and people who wanted to talk to me and uh, constantly, all day long. So um, I've always practiced deep breathing and that is something that I have been doing since I've been here at the RTR. Um, and just in case you don't know uh, how to do deep breathing, I just wanted to real quick um, when you breathe in, you breathe in through your nose, if you can, and you breathe in not to your lungs, but you breathe in to your belly. You fill your belly with air, and uh, you try to breathe in for 10 seconds. Can't quite do that. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. Um, hold it for 10 seconds, and then exhale for 10 seconds. Now, if you're not able to do that, if you're able to do six seconds, six seconds, six seconds, that's what you do. The more you do it, uh, the better you'll get at, you know, breathing in, holding it, and breathing out. Like, the longer you'll be able to do it. And uh, it'll be more beneficial the longer you can hold the breath. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. So try it sometime. This is Rosebud. Hey, baby. Hi. She's so soft. So sweet. Yeah. So it's her pretty face. So it's like got her a little freaked out. Yeah. She's got a pretty pink harness. Yeah. Pretty girl. <laughs> Lots of people. So today was a little too much for me, I'd say. Uh, too much stimulation, too many people, um, too many new people. And not that uh, I didn't enjoy meeting everyone, but uh, yeah, it was just a lot. And so I ended my day having a nice conversation with Kelly and 
then we sat around a, an intimate little fire with a few friends and it was fantastic and now I feel really relaxed and I'm ready for bed. So RTR, day number two, check. All done. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.